All right, what's up guys? Uh, we got a quick video for today. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a mod video on the XSR, show you what mods I've got done, what's gonna come. Uh, my CPU did come back, uh, so I got the baffle pulled out and uh, we're gonna get to do a little quick video of the exhaust and the way it sounds now. I'm super happy with it and riding it for about a day and I'm, it's great. I mean, it sounds good with the baffle in, but with the baffle out, the, the bike is just next level. Uh, let's get to it all right guys as you may have seen in my first video this is my 2018 uh, yamaha xsr 700 uh, i've done a few things to customize it mods i've done here and there uh, i do have a few other ones planned and we're going to go over those today we're going to show you what i got done and what i plan on doing after that uh let's start in the front first of all i have a this is made by dart a lot of you triumph guys know this it's a little windscreen they make a couple different sizes this is the medium one but this does such a good job of keeping the wind off your chest especially on these naked bikes um and it looks pretty good it kind of cleans with the front end because a lot of people don't like this kind of bulky headlight the seven the xsr has um so it makes it look a little better from the front um uh what else oh okay uh i have a rad guard this is just an ebay rad guard but it's you know, 30 dollars it has a little xsr logo on it which is kind of cool. Uh, way cheaper than the Yamaha one, which apparently have used zip ties. I think it's kind of wonky. Uh, but this one actually attaches one of its factory mounts under these. I still plan on painting these later. I just haven't done that yet. Um, let's see, going up here, uh, I got a Ram X grip. Everybody likes those. Uh, I have some built well grips. I believe these are the torque grips. Correct me if I'm wrong. I forget their name. Uh, I modified them to fit bar ends, as you saw in my bar end video for, for the uh, Suzuki. I did the same thing with these when I originally put them on it. They're the chocolate cut ones. I think they look great. They match the little brown accent on the stock seat. So that kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, these mirrors, these are Rizoma knockoffs. So these are like from Amazon. I don't remember the, the brand. Uh, I think you can get these on eBay too. And these are like $30 for the set, whereas the real Rizomas are $90 for a single mirror. So yeah, that's up to you if you want that. I can buy three sets of these for the price of one of those. So if I break them, not really gonna worry about it. Uh, what else do I got? Okay, obviously, uh, what we're gonna show later, I uh, have the Akrapovich uh, Titanium from the FC07. Now this isn't specifically made for the XSR, but it does fit as the frame and the engine and everything is all borrowed from the FC07. So all the FC07 exhausts do fit this bike, which is pretty nice because this is kind of the uh, eponymous exhaust for the FC. I mean, tons of people have this on their FC. Uh, I do see it on the XSR, but not nearly as much. And it's known to be one of the best sounding ones. I love that it's all metal. That still kind of goes with the uh, XSR theme. People with the kind of industrial retro futuristic look. Uh, another good one is the SC Project. There's a bunch of other ones, but I don't think any of the ones with carbon fiber really kind of go with this. They look great on the FZ, but I don't really care for them on the, on the uh, XSR. I just think having carbon fiber doesn't really go with the kind of the rough metal industrial look that the XSR is going for. But this, that's why I was having the titanium and also the, the, the way the titanium sounds. This thing sounds amazing. It sounds good with the baffle in. It sounds amazing with the baffle out. Uh, probably pissing off my neighbors. Oh well. Uh, other than that, oh, under here, uh, cut away to uh, get that seat off. Under the seat, part of the tune, we added, we removed the snorkel and I added the DNA filter and um, filter plate, the top cover. Now, as you might notice, this is actually bright green. This is not the actual DNA filter, which is. Uh, filter cover which is over a hundred dollars i think it's like 120 dollars usually and the filter's already like 75. this is a real dna filter but this is actually 3d printed um there is a file online you can search it somebody scanned the actual part into cad and if you have access to a 3d printer you can print this out um that's what i did i found i googled it found it um it's exactly the same as the real one but this one, if you have access to a 3D printer, you already have one, your buddy has one, it's basically free. So save yourself a hundred bucks and just print the thing. Uh, I know it's technically whatever, but hey, I recommend it. Shout out to my uh, my girl's dad. He's who he's got the 3D printer and helped me print this out. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, other than that, let's see, let me put the seat back on. Uh, plans for future mods. 
Um, we are going to uh, get rid of these. Well, definitely get rid of these hideous stock near, uh, signals. These cantaloupes, they flop up and down. I mean, I'm a, kind of a poor boy, so I kind of do what I can with money. But So maybe I'll tint them momentarily. I'll get some tints to kind of make them look a little better. They do look a little better on the front here now that um, the dart comes with the, this eliminator kit for the, um, the stock signal spacers. There's these big aluminum spacers that move the signals out like an inch at least. And the dart comes with the Euro hardware. So it gets rid of those and that already made these look a lot better because these these headlight ears are actually flush with the headlight rather than kind of like up here um these things still suck but they work better for the time being um same thing with the back they really flop around in here when, when you're going down you see the shadow and they'll just they're just bouncing off everything uh, these things are kind of crap but yamaha puts them on everything in the u.s because they're cheap uh definitely getting rid of this hideous thing this hideous tail and getting a tail tidy I think about the Evotech, I, that's where I'm leaning. I know it's, it's straight bolt on, no cut, which is amazing. It keeps the stock taillight and uh, fender mud flap thing. Uh, a lot of guys go with the new Rage one that gets rid of even this and goes straight to this loop here. I don't really, I like that look, but I don't care for the tail tidy itself. I don't care for the LED strip. I don't think it looks good. Um, I think Brome makes one that, uh, or Brogue, no, yeah, Brogue, not Brome, uh, makes one that eliminates this and has a more traditional, like, Cafe Triumph tail light you can put on it. That's a maybe. That'd be the alternative if I didn't, if I don't go with the uh, Evotech one. Um, speaking of Brogue, I do have their little headlight bracket. I forgot to show you that when the seat was off, but it's under here. I think it's super cool. It literally just uses two of your stock bolts, and it keeps, and it has a little he clip so you can hold your headlight on by the D-ring when you need to go to places. That is super convenient when you go to the store. Uh, um otherwise i probably will get some covers for these it looks kind of unfinished kind of hide this uh master cylinder uh reservoir here and some of this plumbing there, there are a couple kits in in uh, the u.s there's not a ton of parts for these not like the fc but in europe these things are actually really popular especially in the uk uh so that's where a lot of the really cool parts come out of is out of the uk so i'm gonna work on getting some of that stuff uh, I may use the Brogue headlight relocator too. I mean, not headlight, the Speedo relocator too, because that thing's pretty cool. Uh, there's a few other things here and there. I may shoot, change it up to okay, my taste. Oh, and I almost forgot the seat. I may go with the Yamaha flat seat. I do like the seat. It's not bad. I do like how I said earlier, the, the brown matches, but the flat tracker seat is also really nice. So I might do that and because it's just a seat and it bolts on, clips on, clips off, I can swap it whenever I want. So that's possibly coming in the future. All right, let's get to that exhaust clip. All right, we're gonna fire this up. Let's see how it sounds. checking out the video uh hopefully you enjoyed it uh enjoy that little exhaust clip uh hopefully i'll have some more riding footage later I'm still trying to pick up a better camera for uh for moto vlogs uh, i've been flaked on by like four or five people on offer up so i'm working on that i'm just, again i'm kind of cheap bastard so i'm trying to find a good deal uh but hopefully we'll have some more stuff to come i'm busy with school and a lot of other things that's why i was busy this week so i had to kind of Rush together, you know, basically go to school in the, the first part of the week and then got to work on stuff and I'm with some finals right now. Uh, but thank you guys for support, for checking me out and for subscribing if you, if you choose to. Uh, you guys are the best. Have a great day.